hi in this video i will show you the core apps version 2.8 there is lots of improvement there today i won't show you the core stuff i will show you the other apps let's start so i am using postmarket os in xfc So this is Core FM, the file manager. Mm -hmm. This is how it's work. All the things are here. You can change the. Mm, Icon size. Mm -hmm. uh, here you will see the, all the drives. Yeah, it's mounted now. So this is all the drives. You can also there is a really cool feature. It's like the sh share something, select it, then this one. Right. You can do. You can send this file to this partition or the picture, video, these folders. Also, you can convert the image like whichever you want. Convert it. It's happened. JP JPEG. Yeah, PNG to JPEG. So this is the trash. There is nothing there. You can open the terminal here, just a button. This is XFC terminal. Mm, create a folder, create a, create a file. Now, okay, select all the files, see the properties. This one. So this is the core FM, the file manager. Now open the second one is the this is the setting manager. All the settings about the core apps are here. You can the first one is the activities, which app you are opening, all and the search activities is from the core hunt is the uh, file search utility i will show you later so so all the search activities and the file open open file activities will be saved if this is unavailed you can also clear those if you disabled it all the files will be deleted no worries there so this is the second one is the system notification if you want to use the system notification mm, here you can change all the icons size mm. the really cool thing about the core apps is like after doing all the stuff like if you want to reflush or this reformat this device you can do a backup and keep it in your somewhere and restore it all the activities uh, activities the search activities the bookmarks uh, all the things will be backup backed it up by one click so this is the preferred app like those apps you want to open using this like terminal i set it to xfc terminal we have a terminal but uh, it's not ported to post market os yet so search app, core hunt, you can use any other apps there. Instead of using core hunt, you can use um, catfish from XFC. Uh, file manager, I use core FM, you can use Thuna. Batch file renamer, I use nothing here. You can use 
bulk file renamer from XFC or ours one is the core renamer. Here is other uh, settings related to other core apps, core PDF. There is lots of improvement in version 2.8. Now check out the other one. This is the image viewer. This is added um, version 2.8. You can see the zoom zoom value i forgot the thing term for it mm. yeah this is a simple cool image like image viewer you can change uh, the rotation here click then rotate yeah oh, more metadata is the code info you can see all the metadata about the picture so as i said default here sorry yeah the um, metadata viewer is like core info so it used the core info to show the more metadata about the image yeah this is the core image now open another one like this is core hunt this is the search yeah. so this is the search activity is from core hunt it will be saved if you say like this one is enabled so because it's enabled so it's kept the search activity so if I search here let's open the Core keyboard so we have seven T ah, there is nothing yes so this one so it's searching and searching yeah the search is finished it's quite fast in here this is a low resource device there, there is no core i7 or that much CPU resource but it finished like 117 results within like seven seconds you can sort out all the folders files there yeah it's a really fast search application you can use it you know all the apps you can use either in desktop or the, the in the mobile I will talk about it later like what is core apps about it mm, here you can set a folder to search like only the desktop is in default is like on not only the home but you can use other folders so this is core pad this is the simple text view this is new text so let's, let's write I am using postmark address with core apps it's really good using it. So regular stuff like create a new page is tab interface there. Yeah. Save add date. Yeah, regular. Also you can share the uh, the created text you 
the desktop or like share you can share it via bluetooth because there is no bluetooth working in my device it's nexus 5x so i can share it see the bluetooth adapter is power off let's open another one like this one core paint so it's a paint application simple Mm, we need to work yeah yeah simple let's see I can zoom so it's simple yeah you can use different types So the next one will be uh, this is the core renema or file renema. Yeah. And um, this is the bookmark. All the bookmark will show here. You can bookmark any file here. Like suppose I'm bookmarking these three. Mm. Book. Where? Am I? Yeah. Mm, what? Access is not touch friendly. That can I say? Okay, let's pin it. This is pin it means like the bookmark we call it pin here. Yeah. Done done. Yeah. Now let's see in the see these three are here. If I refresh you can make a new section that section new done this is new now you can add delete it yeah regular stuff mm. this is our system resource viewer you can see all the information related to your system here like this is Cortex F53, all the CPU goes for QT5.12. This is post market OS version 1.7. So, all the drives, lots of drives, all the drives information. This is the battery. All the uh, information about the battery. This is the. I don't know why it's always maximizing. Mm. Cost that's this is all the information of the display it's portrait mm, this one is the all the cpu real time usage and this one is the battery it's 71% right now So this is core stuff, no core stats. Mm -hmm. This is core time. All the information related to time. You can see the events. World. All the event. Then international. 
uh, information about related to our um, Kubocore group or and the um, co reps mm -hmm. now it's like version 2.8 so you can check for update it's it won't work because it needs internet yeah so all the information so this is all the apps core archive uh, correction is uh, for desktop uh, the similar thing for the mobile is the core stuff similar app correction is for only for desktop core archiver is the archive viewer yeah core stuff this is for the mobile mm -hmm. touch based device and this one is for the desktop you can use core stuff in desktop no issues there but uh, it's really made for the touch devices it's 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 like a desktop for touch this is the file manager uh, this is setting manager this is core hunt the search application this is the image viewer this is the metadata viewer this is the keyboard this one this one I'll show you the keyboard later uh, this is the text editor this is the paint this is PDF viewer PDF viewer also not working in postmark OS this is the bookmark this is Mm, rename uh, this is the core shot yeah core shot is I forgot this is the core shot capture window yeah this one share it you can share it via bluetooth all the other stuff So this is the terminal also not working because of QTERM widget is not ported to Alpine yet. Mm. This is the time visual core time and this is the core universe this one. So all the changes in this version you can see here. So this is core keyboard. You can type simple stuff. It doesn't uh, open when you click uh, editor box. We didn't work. Uh, didn't work with that. Maybe next version we will uh, add that feature. If you click uh, edit box or like a text editing the core keyboard will automatically open well i'm not show up maybe because the time is not f working in here yeah. mm. what else yeah so all the course uh, core apps you can use in the mobile we didn't make those apps specifically because for the touch device like this one the main purpose about that one those apps for like low resource devices either like 2005 uh, your laptop uh, if you uh, a laptop from like 2005 those types of like low resource device uh, you can use those apps there these apps really fast you can use the ram see the ram like it doesn't take see uh, 
with XFC and all the curves opened it only took 429 megabytes uh, maybe 200 megabytes if you open all the app core apps it will take less than 200 see it's like really uh, not that ram ram hungry it those apps took like really small amount of ram in your system yeah mm. like that's why we made core apps because like nowadays you uh, all the apps need like high ram usage or the cpu usage like you can you also need the gpu acceleration for those apps like all the apps from plasma mobile need gpu acceleration you can't use those apps in this device because this doesn't have any gpu support yet in post market os so these apps run really well in this uh, mobile without any GPU acceleration also in your laptop or like other devices like those these apps can run really fast uh, there so that was the main purpose to build these apps like we need those apps like in our Linux nowadays like all the apps focusing on the gpu thing or uh, and the qml qml is good i don't hate qml but it needs gpu acceleration and ram that's why i didn't use any we didn't use any qml stuff all the apps made using regular qt and c plus plus not python c plus plus and qt now we are supporting Qt, uh, what, uh, Qt 5.6, uh, um, before uh, Qt 5, 5.6 L, uh, LTS, uh, but in version 3 is our, like the the all the apps will be stable and all the future will be finished in version 3 and after version 3 we will move to q 12 or 14 or maybe the 16 lts so let's hope for best like version 3 will support q 5.6 that means you can use ubuntu 6.04 yeah you know 6.04 will be supported because like you uh, ubuntu 6.04 supports Qt 5.6 we didn't base our apps in based on ubuntu release we based our apps on the Qt 5.6 only the Qt release not any other distribution or like the um, any distro we only base our apps on for only cute version yeah it's really wrong video um in next video i will show you core stuff real yeah, with in depth okay thanks for watching bye